And the GLAD Media Award goes to HIV AIDS 40 Years Later Today, NBC. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I want to thank today's show producer, Robert Powell. This story was his idea, uh, and he's the one who made it happen and pushed it through to the end. Robert couldn't be here tonight, but Robert, thank you. I'm so grateful to our today's show bosses, Libby Least and Tom Azzarelli, our senior producer, Josh Weiner, who's here, who give us a platform to tell important stories like this to literally an audience of millions of people. And above all, I am grateful to the four guys standing behind me who so bravely, candidly, passionately told their stories. Bruce, DeAndre, Jesse, and Rhea, and you should hear from them. Jesse. From age united, I was thrilled to join these three gentlemen in telling our stories across the four decades of HIV and AIDS. And those stories include the 700,000 Americans who have died from this disease and the 1.2 million of us who are living with HIV. 35,000 new transmissions every day, and most of them every year, and most of them look like me. But I'm also aging with HIV. This year is my 40th year living with HIV. But not enough of us are achieving viral suppression so that they can live long and healthy. So we have a lot of work to do in this community to end the HIV epidemic. Great. Great. So this Sunday is my birthday. And it also is exactly 10 years to the day that I was diagnosed with AIDS. Um, I thought I was going to be dead in two, two years. I was clearly wrong, it's, it was clearly the beginning of my life and my life's purpose. My partner of three years, Bo, is here. Um, he's negative, and uh, we never have to worry about HIV transmission because I'm undetectable, and that means I'm untransmittable. You equals you. Um, so, so eight years ago, uh, there was a young man out in Texas, um, Southeast Texas, who was diagnosed with HIV at the age of 19. And um, when he was diagnosed, um, he wanted to die. He was so shamed because of the stigma and he wanted to share his story with the world because he felt the voice of God kept telling him, this is what you're supposed to do. But everyone all around him kept saying, keep it a secret, you're not supposed to do that. Except for his mama. His mama kept saying, baby, I taught you one thing and that was to share your story. And do what God told you to do. And then, and then after that, Shortly after that, he found out about a movement called U Equals U, where he learned that people living with HIV who were on effective treatment, who had an undetectable viral load, could not sexually transmit HIV with their partners, and he knew he had to share that information. <laughs> that, that young man is me, and because of the support of my mama, who's here escorting me tonight, and... Stand up, stand up, stand up, ladies, stand up. And, and, because, and because of movements like the U Equals U movement, who has, but has just changed lives all over this world, and because he listened to his mama, that young man is walking off this stage tonight, a GLAAD Media Award winner. And I hope, I hope that because of this recognition that tonight more people will want to learn more about U equals U and join us on this fight to ending the HIV epidemic. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, DeAndre. As DeAndre said, U equals U is the most important message that people with HIV and our partners need to hear. The fact that someone living with HIV who has an undetectable viral can't pass on HIV to our partners is revolutionary. 
So many of us never imagined we could love, we could have sex, we could conceive children without fear. But most people outside of this room don't know U equals U. That's why we're so grateful to the Today Show and glad for this visibility. And that's why the Prevention Access Campaign founded the U equals U movement. We built a consensus about U equals U and we're fighting to make sure that all people living with HIV can experience it. We're very sure that there are people in this room whose lives have been changed because of the U equals U activism. Please, please join us in sharing the message that changes what it means to live and to love with HIV. U equals U. Thank you very much.